today I'm going to be talking about Lane Staley. Lane Staley, from an early age, loved to sing. His mom said he started singing in church, and as he got older, he pursued that career. He was in Alice in Chains, and before he got famous, he wanted to go meet his father but decided against it. And once he got famous, his father went looking for him, which would lead to drug abuse. Lane started doing heroin. And when Lane's girlfriend passed away because she got an infection from a needle he kind of just, it got, things got bad for him. He was, he got to the point that he stopped talking to a lot of his family. He stopped talking to his band. The only one he really talked to was Max Starr. And... Mike Starr would say on his birthday he went to, you know, Sea Lane. And he wanted to call the ambulance because Lane wasn't doing really good. But Lane told him no. And the saddest thing is when Mike got upset with him and left, Lane said, please don't leave me not like this and a day later well could have been probably that night he was found dead and he laid in his house for like two weeks before anyone had found him and Mike Starr took this really hard and the sad thing was, Lane was only 34, and he was really talented. The man could sing. Him and, you know, Kurt and Chris Cornell, they could all sing. So, it was just really sad. But that is the story of Lane Staley.